the decision of body, mind, and spirit, so how to integrate with our life. And to my surprise, even today, as I go to many conferences, nobody can define body, mind, or spirit. Even today, even in some conferences. So, one of the goals of this is to help people understand that these are real entities. And that every experience that we have is now mental, whether it's a spiritual experience, emotional, mental, physical, or out there in the environment. But to make it very simple, the ideal life, ideal life would be just four things joyful, energetic body, loving, compassionate heart, clear, creative, quiet mind. That has access to insight and creativity and higher consciousness, and what we call madness of spirit, joy. And ultimately, that's the most important thing joy. If you don't have joy, you miss out on this life. You might have to recycle so you can experience joy. Joy is something that we say. So, we all live in four different dimensions. The first dimension is our physical body. The second is our home, where we spend. Hopefully, a lot of time on the own airplanes, our home. The second is this beautiful environment, sometimes in places not so beautiful, but this is our social ecosystem. And then there's out there, the universe. These are not four different entities. We've made them artificially different. We call that the environment. It's our extended body. The stars, the galaxies, give you the atoms that are circulating in your body right now. The rivers are your circulation. The earth is recycling as your body. But I think we have to get rid of this word environment. It's a basic, basic problem that we are not seeing reversal of climate change or any of the issues. We think of ourselves as separate from everything else, when we are a product of everything else. So we're launching an initiative here called Chopraverse, where in very short, you'll be able to experience a joyful energetic body, loving, compassionate heart, creative mind, and lightness of spirit. And it will be measurable. 